Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, I am back today with the March edition of the Abominable Book Club book box. Well, it's not really a box, it's a bag, but uh, you know what I mean. So, that is the, uh, the contents. I've opened it, but I've not looked in it yet. So we will have two new books and a secondhand book, and we always have a bookmark as well. So I'm going to get that out first and take a look. It's actually a little bit bent, and I have just dropped uh, a signed book plate on the floor. So I'll grab that in a second. Um, so there's your bookmark. Um, always comes with a short story on the back. And if you would like to pause and read that, you can. Okay, so let me just grab the one that I've just dropped on the floor. We will look at that after we've looked at the books. Um, so let's pull out the first book. They're both uh, paperbacks. This is a good house for children. The perfect place to destroy a family by Kate Collins. I've never heard of this author. We'll read what it says on the back. Uh, despite all his misgivings, her husband insists a crumbling mansion at the edge of the Dorset Cliffs is the perfect place to raise their two children. But the Reeve is a house where doors open on their own, reflections cannot be trusted, and her son becomes obsessed by his imaginary friends. Four decades earlier, in 1976, Lydia moves to Dorset as a nanny for a family grieving their patriarch. She also soon starts to hear and feel things that can't be real, but her bereaved employer doesn't listen when Lydia tells her something is wrong. Both Lydia and Orla realize that the longer they stay at the Reeve, the harder it will be to keep the children safe from whatever lurks inside it. A Good House for Children is the bone-chilling tale of two women bound together by a terrible place. That sounds pretty interesting kind of like a uh, split narrative between two different um, time periods yeah yeah sounds pretty cool uh, let's look at the second one got a note in there for one of them uh, I'll look at that in a second the second book is black sheep by Rachel Harrison. I do like the cover on that. That's very evil looking sheep. Uh, so it says, nobody has a normal family, but Vesper Wrights is truly something else. Vef Vesper left home at 18 and never looked back mostly because she was told that leaving the staunchly religious community she grew up in meant she couldn't return, but then an invitation to the wedding of Vesper's cousin Rosie arrives. Something inside her insists she go, even if it means returning to the toxic environment she escaped, even if it means reuniting with her mother Constance, a former horror film star and forever ice queen. When Vesper's homecoming exhumes a terrifying secret, she's forced to reckon with her family's beliefs and her own crisis of faith in this fiery, irreverent horror novel from the acclaimed author of Cackle, Such Sharp Teeth and Bad Dolls. Okay. Yep, sounds interesting. Sounds kind of similar to um, a film called Matriarch, which I... Uh, uh, which I watched recently um, also about a woman who kind of like escapes from a toxic community and goes back to it and uh, weird shit happens um, 
So I think, yeah, it's only it's only the second handbook we've got left now. So let's have a look at this other stuff. We have a signed book plate from Rachel Harrison, uh, the author of Black Sheep. And I'm assuming the note is also going to be from Rachel Harrison. It is indeed. So if you would like to pause that and read it, you can. It's always nice to get like these notes from the authors uh, going into a little bit of the um, background of the novel. Uh, so the last thing we have is the second hand book. Um, it is a paperback. Um, quite often ha already have these. So we'll see if I already have this. And I do. I do actually already have Odd Thomas by Dean Koontz. Um, I have rather a lot of Dean Koontz books. Um, so that is, that's a little bit disappointing, but you know, like, like, like I always say, when you have like as many books as I do, um, you're going to get like duplicates in the, in the second hand stuff, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, I still get like the two brand new books each month. So, um, yep, that can, that can go on my charity pile. Um, so that was everything in the Abominable Book Club March edition. Uh, I'll be back next month, as always, with a new one. And if you enjoyed this video, please click like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.